What's going on guys? Welcome back to another repaint video. In the video today, I'm coming at you with another retro repaint. This one is going to be super fun, super easy to do. I'm going to be using a lot of um, regular craft paint paint that you could get at Walmart or uh, your just a regular hobby store. Uh, that way it's easier for you guys to kind of follow along. I am going to be using the airbrush on this repaint, but I'm going to be using a lot of these craft paints, mixing them down, um, turning them into airbrush paint uh, to blast them through my airbrush. Um, but I wanted to make it as simple as possible so that you guys could follow along and paint this by hand if you if you don't have an airbrush and you don't uh, you don't want to do it with an airbrush you want to paint it by hand but it's going to be a really really easy repaint to do we're going to be going for a very uh, factory uh, style of paint job so no like crazy realistic details we're going to be going straight up making it look like it's right from the factory and turning it into that old school uh, Dem uh, Demetrodon but um, I'm going to be starting off here obviously uh, we've got to get the model prepped um, wiped it down with some acetone and I'm going in with some white primer And uh, then I'm going in with some yellow. Now this is just uh, Createx, a transparent yellow. But of course you can get any kind of yellow uh, acrylic paint from the craft section of Walmart or hobby store or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to lay down the yellow first here on the sale uh, just to get that done and out of the way. And I'm just applying a couple of thin coats of this transparent yellow. Uh, since it is transparent, it's not super, super dark. So I do have to give a few coats to it. But uh, yeah, remember to thin your, uh, if you're doing this by hand, thin your yellow down. Uh, yellow can uh, be very streaky and chalky, so you just have to apply very thin layers of that yellow. But uh, So we got the yellow down. Now we're going in with some of this lime. And this is going to match the uh, belly as close as I could possibly get it. It's going to match the belly on the uh, Dimetrodon here. And I'm going to mix this into an airbrush-like solution and apply it all over the body of the uh, Dim uh, Dim Dimetrodon. I'm going to start saying Dimorphodon. Pardon me if I say Dimorphodon, I get confused. But I'm laying down just a couple of thin coats of this lime green on here, just to kind of match that belly color of the uh, Kenner one. So next up, I'm gonna try to match this uh, green color here on the skin. And for that, I'm using Tropical Foliage. And this is a satin acrylic paint. And uh, I'm gonna be mixing in a little uh, dark, uh, this uh, olive green and uh, another bottle of Vallejo Model Air, just to kind of darken that green up just a little bit. This is a United States Air Force green. Um, and I'm just gonna test it and see if it's dark enough for my taste here. Uh, but you can play around with the colors uh, that you have just to kind of get it to match. So it's a very light colored green and um, it matches the one on the Kenner one as close as I can get it with the greens that I have. Uh, it wasn't as dark, so now I'm going in with this crisp green and I'm thinning it down with some flow improver. And then I'm gonna apply this on the body and uh, hopefully this will darken it up a little bit more just to make it match just a bit. I'm not gonna be able to get it 100%, but uh, it'll get it close enough to where it'll look really cool. So again, I'm just applying it in a couple of thin coats. And if you're doing this by hand, remember to thin your acrylic paints down. So next up here, I want to get some of this clear magic putty. This stuff is great for masking off spots of uh, something that you're painting that you don't want to get other color paints on. So what I'm actually going to do is tear off little tiny sections and I'm going to try to replicate some of these yellow dots on the sale. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually just mask off the yellow that's on the sale right now, as you can see here. And this is going to protect those yellow spots. And then I'm going to go over the sail and the back of the body with that really dark green that this uh, Dimetrodon has. And uh, for that, I'm going to be using a little bit of this uh, English ivy green. It's a very dark green. And I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of the um, light green and United States Air Force green. And this here, I'm, you know, I'm just going over real thin coats. I also have the rest of the body masked off to match the stripes that are on the Kenner one. Using the Magic Putty is really great just for masking off stuff, um, especially like little areas that are, you can't get tape in. So the green is dried, 
and now I'm going to go in and remove all of the little magic putty thing and they just pop right off the model super clean um, I actually love this stuff man it's just uh, it's a really cool um, it's a great tool to have in your arsenal uh, especially if you're airbrushing because you can get really clean lines and it doesn't stick to the model or pull the paint off and the finish on this model has a really great satin finish so it kind of looks like it was done in a factory you know it doesn't have a, it's not matte or it's not super shiny but that nice satin finish gives it a really cool kind of factory vibe you get really great stripe details using this stuff you can find it at Walmart it's about five bucks for a little bottle of it it's in the toy section and uh, the clear is great because you can see through it and you can see underneath it with what you're doing so I definitely recommend getting the clear stuff All right, so we're going to be going in and doing some detail work now. So the inside of the mouth, it's kind of a flesh tone, red color. So I'm going to be using a light mocha flesh tone uh, mixed with a little bit of red just to darken it up and give it a little warmth. So these are two basic acrylic paints that you can grab at Walmart. And I'm going to mix them together just a little bit, uh, add a little bit of water to help with flow, and do the inside of the mouth. Okay, next up, we're going to be doing the eyeball, and that's just a gloss black and a little tiny black dot inside there. Very, very simple, nothing fancy. You know, like I said, we're trying to keep it looking factory, so we're just gonna do a little tiny black dot on both sides. And now for the teeth. The teeth kind of look like they're off-white to me, so I'm gonna be using off-white, uh, an ivory color from Vallejo. Now, if you don't want to get this one, um, you can go to Walmart and grab some just basic ivory matte acrylic paint, thin it down just a little bit, add some water to it, and then just kind of dab it on the ends of the teeth just to uh, get that paint on there. And you have to hold your breath for this. You just hold your breath time because you don't want to slip and uh, get a big white streak going down the side of the face. You want to keep your paint looking as clean as you possibly can. All right, so the last little step here, uh, we're going to be painting the claws. Now, the claws on the Kenner one aren't painted, but I feel like if I don't paint the ones on the Mattel one, it'll just, it won't look complete. So on what I'm going to be using is just the green paint that I used for the sail and the dark stripes on the body, and uh, I'm just going to be using that. It's already thinned down with Flow Improver for the airbrush, so it'll just flow on the nails. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab it here and uh, do the nails, and that'll pretty much be it for this repaint like I said it's a very easy repaint and there's not a whole lot of washes no no washes at all actually no you know dry brushing or crazy details or anything like that but um, uh, it's just a really simple repaint to do to make this thing look really cool and you know pay homage to the original OG Dimetrodon from Kenner so this is it guys this is the finished product Dimetrodon is back in the box looking sharp so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video remember for more Jurassic Park related content you guys know where to find me links will be in the description box below you guys take care and I will see you in the next video